Lonely Man, a hooked-up identity poem by Harvey J. Gardner, January 24th, 2011, revised May 29th, 2022. I am a pencil man, good for a hasty jot or simple sketch, revisable, erasable, my points soon lost if I'm a number two. I am a mirror man, revealing momentarily a version of who I am. I fog up the closer I come to her lips. Alive is putting it mildly. I am a cactus man, survivor of droughts, suited for sentinel service, silently suggesting you keep your distance if you see me as your pincushion. I am an ocean man, born beyond its curved horizon, comfortable with clams and clouds, violently enduring whipping winds, reflective when becalmed. I am a refrigerator man, well sealed to keep my cool, occasionally explored in vain, foul smelling when foolishly refusing to dump last month's leftovers. I am a wood man, when stroked I will slip under your skin. After being whittled down, I'm sanded smooth and better able to put up with getting screwed. I am a hair man, tussled by random gusts, held in place with a wool-knit cap, soon stuck to your soul after being trimmed on an unswept floor. I am a tree man, offering shelter when leafed out, huggable by the open-armed, enabling a panoramic view to those willing to ascend to my crown. I am a camera man, vacant until my button is pushed, and then filled with memories of unposed folks, beauties in nature, and loved ones. I am a coffee man, dark and bitter when unsettled, at my best when strong, unsweetened, and tastefully sipped, but cringing when loudly slurped. I am a hanky man, well prepared when neatly folded, fulfilled after being unfurled, replaceable after becoming too wrinkled and damp. I am a child man, open to being your friend if you're nice, afraid of thump things in the night, secure when listened to and caressed. I am a moon man, playing peekaboo with the sun, glad to regulate the tides, slow to go out of sight after bidding good morning to the night. I am a clock man, quietly marking time, slowing down when ogled, clinging to my second hand. I am a fish man, no longer taking my huge home for granted, enjoying school chums, weary of wiggly worm wound hooks, sadly swimming in a world of discarded plastics. I am an omni-man, something in common with all that ever was, is, and will be, the least of which is what I hold or fold, comb or sip, rise or set, sink or swim, click or prick, carve or sand or search. And when I'm so inspired, I will try again to explore more of who I am with a muse-infused poet's pen.